Welcome to Adventure Repeat. Thanks for coming. So, if this is your first time here, make sure you like the video, comment, tell us what you think about it, tell us what else you want to hear about, subscribe. We got a lot of great content coming, so you want to be sure to keep up with everything we got going. So, here we are talking about the Chevrolet 2500 HD engine. So, we're going to talk about everything underneath the hood here and what it's got going on. So, this is the 6.6 liter L8 T gasoline engine. It is paired with a 10-speed Allison transmission. So this is not the same 6.6 liter that your grandpa had in his 1970s truck or van. This is an entirely new engine. A little bit of history on this. This is the same block as the 6.2 liter is. They just stroked it out more to have the 6.6 liter displacement. So it is now putting out 401 horsepower and 464 foot-pounds of torque. A big jump and a big improvement from the previous generations. So there's plenty of power to handle everything you put through it. This truck is rated at pulling 16,000 pounds. So it's a lot of weight and this engine can handle it. So here we are, Let's see what you got going on. <clears throat> In the factory configuration, you got the standard one battery up there. You got a ground that's easy accessible, and then the cover you slide out of the way for a positive for jump starting or just putting a regular battery charger on it. It could have a second battery option right here. We do have a battery kit coming on the way, so we will have a second battery down the road. But as they come, it's just a single battery. Air filter is up here, nice and easy to get to, not too common to have to find that or fight with that. So Engine coolant, and it's way up here in the corner, along with brake fluid, windshield washer fluid. They actually put in the fender out of the way over there, which normally they're off to the side anyway, so that's not a bad place to put it. Power steering is right there, along with the power steering pump. It's nice and high and easy to get to. One thing I've enjoyed about these engines is once you get the airbox out of the way, you can still get to the, the serpentine belt. So, that's nice and easy to get to, and then you can see the top of the engine, clearly. What I like about this is Dodge. They push their engines way farther back underneath the doghouse. So it's a lot harder to get back there and work on these engines. These ones, you pop those uh, valve cover accents off, you can get to the coal packs nice and easy. Your spark plugs are nice and easy to get to. So, general routine maintenance on these engines is actually really nice to do. It's not too hard to do on any of these. Oil filter and oil drain plug are nice things to get to on the bottom, so they're not too hard to do. They don't make a mess over anything. Sometimes your Fords, they have it over top of two, uh, turbo ducting, so it can be a pain to get to. But otherwise, it's pretty simple underneath the hood here. That's the way I like to have it. it is, the downside is this is not a uh, diesel hood where it has a cold air intake through the hood scoop. It just simply pulls air from this air box, which ends up pulling air from this little pocket right here, which pulls in air from behind the grill. It is a cold air intake, but just from behind the grill and not through the hood. So that's a basic overview of what's going on underneath the hood with these trucks. It is paired to an Allison transmission. Great transmission. This is the 10-speed. Same as what's behind the Duramax, so you know it's built and it's going to be reliable for this truck. So, that's a basic overview of what's going on here. Be sure to like the video, comment, tell us what you think, tell us what else you want to hear about. If you haven't yet, subscribe. It helps us out greatly. So, be sure to have a great adventure.